Good morning, hello, I'm Tom Butcher of The Zero Project, and I'm here virtually with uh, two gentlemen in Iran, who I can see on the screen in front of me. And you must tell me if I um, pronounce your names correctly, I hope I shall. Uh, Mani Razavizadeh and uh, Ali Albasi, both from Bavar. Before we actually talk about the um, status of disability inclusion in Iran, perhaps you could say um, a little bit about Bavar and yourselves, and then we will jump into a review of the national framework, laws, regulations, and in particular, looking at some case studies, both successful and unsuccessful. So, um, fire away, if you could, and tell us a little bit about yourselves and Bavar, if I'm cr pronouncing that correctly. Hello, Mr. Butcher, and I'm uh, Moni. This is Said, and uh, uh, he is assisting uh, me during the conversation. Man, Tassil Kari, Barnabas Shahri, yes. Yeah, he's, he's uh, educated. I mean, Moni is educated in uh, for civil uh, programming. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, he, he has got a master. And Anjaman Bavar, Tassil Dozor Panj Tassil Shuk. Uh, Bovar, which is, uh, we have to pronounce it like that, Bovar. Bovar, and, uh, okay. This, yeah, this is, this is a... Uh, 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 belief. The, the meaning is belief. Right. You know, Bovar means belief. And uh, it, it was established uh, uh, in uh, 2005. Uh, uh, they are focused on uh, uh, empowering uh, these disa disabled uh, people and uh, uh, say um, developing accessibility uh, in the city. Great, thank you very much indeed. Um, Ali, over to you. If you could tell us a little bit about yourself. Can you hear me, Ali? Yes. Excellent. Hello, Mr. Butcher. Uh, first of all, I would like to express my gratitude to the organizers for inviting me to speak today. Uh, my name is Ali Abbasi, a researcher and disability advocate in Iran. Uh, I've got an MA in, in political science and international relations uh, in the University of Isfahan. And in the last five years, I have mainly focused on the issue of accessibility. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Mani, please don't think that I cut you off. Uh, it's just I'm, I'm, I'm aware that we, we don't have very much time to uh, discuss a really interesting subject. So um, let's move on to um, you know, three different sets of things. The national framework, the laws, the regulations. And let me ask you, you choose which one you want to uh, address first, whether it's laws, regulations or national framework. So Mani, you far away first, please. Yes. Uh, in Iran, as we see, so let me show you the national framework. Oh, uh, Mani is going to talk about national frameworks. Great. As we see, so let me show you the national frameworks. Rules and regulations has been uh, established in Iran uh, 30 years ago. Since 30 years ago, it has been existed. Right. Iran also And uh, Iran is also a member of the International Convention uh, for the uh, Disabled People. Right. And the 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 and uh, uh, the, the national law for uh, supporting the uh, disabilities. for disabilities uh, has been also uh, refreshed three years ago in, in Iran. Wonderful. By Wujud, Sharet Hanud Razi Konande Nis. 
uh, despite these uh, regulations, uh, it is not a still uh, satisfactory. I mean, the situation is not satisfactory inside Iran. Iran, one uh, as a developing country, uh, Iran uh, has been uh, encountered with uh, a variety of uh, uh, political and uh, economical uh, uh, hardships, and uh, it has been so yet. Uh, this is why that uh, yet uh, the accessibility uh, is not even uh, satisfactory or uh, we are meeting the uh, least of the standards. Great. Um, thank you very much. Let's start with that. And uh, Ali, have you got anything to add to um, Mani's comments there? Uh, at first, I would like uh, to briefly mention my actions as a disability activist and advocate in Esfahan, which is uh, one of the most important historical and tourist cities in Iran. Uh, I have been responsible for people with disability in the last group of the National Film Festival for Children and Youth in Esfahan. The goal of my colleagues and me at the festival was to be able to create conditions for people with disability, regardless of their disabilities, and can enjoy attending the festival to the fullest. Uh, for example, we adopted the cinema intended for people with physical disability with uh, prefabricators. So we considered adopted buses for people with disability who wanted to go to the cinema as a group through an NGO. We also tried to make the Islam Festival uh, an accessible event for people with disabilities according to disability inclusive uh, communications uh, guidelines uh, mentioned by the UN under the Enhancing Accessibility for Persons with Disabilities to join conferences and meetings subject and to meet the requirement of an accessible event. We published some information about the situation of the cinema salons, accessible routes uh, to the festival and maps indicating obstacles might make it problem for passing wheelchairs. We also thought about the audience uh, with a visual and deaf disability and autism. For example, with visual disabilities, we use audio description technology for the first time at the festival. And for people with disabilities, we adopt the videos with sign language. And finally, for people with uh, autistic disabilities, uh, we selected field uh, for the screening that should improve uh, their emotions and we reduce the volume of the movie so as not to screen them in the cinema hall. Uh, this example demonstrates our commitment to improving accessibility and creating a more inclusive society. However, uh, disability inclusion is a long journey that requires collaboration, determination, and continuous efforts. It is a path uh, full of physical and non-physical obstacles. But by change experience and learning from each other, we can overcome the challenge and make progress throughout a more inclusive world. Wonderful. Um, uh, but Ali, I'm going to have to cut you, cut you off for a moment because um, I need to get back to Mani, and I'm looking very cognizant of the time. Thank you so much. You have obviously um, achieved a considerable amount there. I wanted to I'm going to come back to that and come back to you. Mani, can we talk a tiny little bit um, about um, laws? You mentioned the framework, and you. I'd love to learn a little bit about the laws and regulations. Uh, any new ones? that have been put in place and any ones that you think are um, obvious in their absence? Mani, over to you. Um, 
برای مثال ضوابط دسترس پذیری تا الان سه بار ریویو شده و متناسب با استاندارت های بین المللی فر اگزامپل ایت هاز بین ریویوید دا اول ضوابط اکسیسیبیلیتی دا لوز اند ریگولیشنز فر اکسیسیبیلیتی ثری تایمز یت ایت هاز بین ریفرشد منطبق بر استاندارت های بین المللی اکوردینگ تو دا انٹرنیشنل استانداردز در مورد کنوانسیون حقوق افراد داره کنوانسیون بین المللی ایران با سازمان ملل و نهایت های بین المللی هم تعامل داره و باید گزارش بده and uh, uh, regarding the uh, international convention for uh, people with disability uh, iran uh, has to report to un and also the international organizations and uh, uh, i mean اما مشکلاتی وجود داره برای مثال در دسترسی قضایی و دادگاه ها but there are uh, few problems uh, like accessing the uh, Oh, the references and uh, for the uh, equality for the uh, uh, for the civil rights right Thank you very much. Um, I see we haven't got much time. But Mani, um, Ali has given his example of incredible accessibility. Um, have you got, uh, I'm not going to ask for unsuccessful examples, one final example that uh, all the listeners and viewers can take away with them, and then I'm afraid I must wrap us up. Uh, uh, Ali or me? You, you, Mani. Just a very, okay. very a brief example so that we can wrap things up with that. Okay. We had a database of data based in Iran. They had uh, made a database for uh, accessibility. و در 20 تا شهر نقاط مناسب سازی شده و نامناسب رو شناسایی کردیم and uh, they had figured out uh, the places which uh, have been uh, made accessible or still they are not accessible uh, within 20 different cities و در این شهر ها شبکه ای از افراد تعلیم دیده و ان جی او ها تشکیل شده and in these uh, 20 cities uh, Uh, now it has happened uh, to have uh, the, the, uh, the people who are educated and uh, trained for this and uh, the NGOs also have been established. اما پروژه متاسفانه به خاطر تامین مالی فایننس در دو سال گذشته متوقف شد. But the project uh, was uh, stopped uh, because of the lack of the finance uh, from the previous year. Okay, thank you very much indeed. Well, I'm afraid our time is coming up and all I would like to say is thank you, Ali. Your example was absolutely great. I appreciate your going into the detail that you did. Mani, I'm sorry we didn't have more time to do more with you, um, but it has been a great pleasure to um, be with you, if only virtually today. Um, I'm only sad that I've never been to Isfahan. It was my father's favorite place. And if I've got the language right, um, what I should say to both of you is Tashakol. And um, all the <laughs> That's very- That's right. It's good, excellent. And all the very, very best. And all the very best to keeping the fight going for accessibility. Thank you so Thank much, you gentlemen. Much. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure too. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ali.